basic battery box has been uh, completed. Uh, it's rough together anyways. I still have to add some trim uh, to the front. I'm going to add some cherry to the front. Um, of course I still have to uh, hinge it and and finish off the uh, top covers. But my intention on building it uh, was to make the battery compartment watertight so any water that uh, did drip down in between uh, the two covers would come out through this little trough and all along the uh, the cover I have it uh, so that's like a an edge that will come right over come right over the edge of the box preventing any water from coming in the only place that it could come in it would be between the uh, where the hinges would be and I plan to put a, a gasket in there two boxes two areas for the batteries I still have to make the um, the battery I still have to make the battery box uh, for the batteries itself that will hold the uh, the actual batteries and I need to put in here a place for my lead acid batteries for the uh, house batteries the head enclosure has been started uh, this is the base is epoxied in place and uh, the rest of the housing will go around that housing will lift up past the edge of the railing here so it'll be in the down position for transportation and then when um, I have the canopy raised I will then raise the housing and uh, so it'll give me enough headroom I have started the console wall uh, over here it's about 32 inches um, uh, in width and uh, my uh, steering console will hinge up to this so that I'll be able to flip it up um, for use and then for transportation uh, the uh, steering column will flip down. This is the steering console so far. I've got the hole cut into it for the uh, steering wheel uh, mounting plate. Um, I'm going to finish epoxying this down in the basement. It's too cold in the garage uh, for epoxying right now. Here's my steering wheel column that will support the steering uh, wheel mechanism. And you can see that it is higher than the edge railing system. And because I'm planning on using a canopy that will collapse right to the railing system for transportation, uh, this with the steering wheel on it will be too high. So what I have done is I have hinged it So there it is hinged. I could lower it down for transportation and then uh, when I um, when I wish to launch I just flip it up. the steering wheel and cable installed in my column and uh, looking from behind it was a little snug uh, fitting in but 
seem to go in okay. It does operate, even though I haven't hooked up a motor to it yet, but it seems to turn uh, quite smoothly. Now, also, I could flip it down in the transport position and uh, no issues with the cable being strained. So the next step, um, I will be putting a shelf uh, right in about this level and uh, so this will flip up and lock into the shelf. So right now it's not overly stable and so I need to stabilize that. This is my salad bowl sink that I'm going to install. So I took a, a salad bowl I bought at the dollar store. It cost me four bucks Canadian. Drilled a hole in the bottom. I used my uh, jigsaw after I drilled a hole. Cut that out and uh, filed the sharp edges down. And now I'm going to be installing this drain kit. And <clears throat> the videos I've seen online, they use uh, plumber's putty for the first step uh, around the um, drain collar. The guy at the hardware store told me I could either use uh, plumber's putty or silicone. So I'm going to use some silicone on this because uh, I can't find my plumber's putty. So anyways, I will try uh, try this method and hopefully it'll work. So the drain went in okay, the silicon is hardening and I've cleaned up the excess with a little kitchen wipe that has uh, alcohol embedded in it. So it looks pretty good. I'll have to test it later to see if it leaks. These are the sides of the forward bunks, uh, the benches. And uh, I brought them inside to do all the epoxying just because it's too cold in the garage. I have the uh, forward bench seats um, just roughed in and dry fitted together. Now going to take them apart and uh, go with the top and the bottom with the epoxy and to seal it. So using the same steaming process um, that I did for the railings, I've started to steam bend trim work for uh, the console. And because I had to make really tight um, bends, I soaked the wood for several days in actual, actually in my pool. And uh, then I steamed it for 20 minutes straight and it bent pretty good, but you still have to be uh, careful. You go slowly, um, you get it up there quickly, but bend it slowly so you don't snap it. And it came out, uh, came out quite nice. So this will be the hardest piece to put on. Uh, the rest of the trim will be straight, straight pieces, so be no issue. battery boxes are now complete. I made them out of 3 8 inch plywood and uh, each box will hold a 12 volt battery uh, bank. So I have four battery banks. Um, I could either make that into a 48 volt uh, uh, 
power battery bank or a 24 volt and have um, two of the battery banks in, in parallel. I could have two of the 12 volt boxes in parallel with the other two 12 volt boxes for a 24 volt bank if I want to use my Torquedo motor initially. I have three inch thick foam by 30 inches by just under 96 is actually 95 and a half inches and I have my uh, box cushion backer boards all made. I have uh, this one in place. This is one of the uh, main ones for the bow seat and uh, I'll be cutting that first. So here is the first seat cushion cut out and I used an electric carving knife uh, to cut that. It works really nice and uh, you can see along the edge it did a very nice job of slicing through it. And you can still see my green marker line and I cut to the outside edge of that just to give it about uh, a quarter inch of extra foam all around the seat. So that's the uh, first piece done and uh, now I'll cut the rest of them and then I'll be ready to start uh, covering them. So I have the foam cut for uh, all the uh, cushions and back pieces and uh, for some of the cushion backs I had to splice a couple pieces of foam together just to uh, keep from wasting the foam. And some of the back sections, using up some old foam that has uh, turned yellow from being in the garage for a couple of years. So this is how I uh, fasten the vinyl to my uh, box cushion. I start by stapling at the back in the center, in the center, and then to the ends, and to the ends, and just work my way to the uh, to the corners, and then I do a little cut and fold in the corners. Try and make it as neat as possible. So I have the bench seats completed and temporarily in place. Uh, this is at the bow. These will uh, eventually fold down and create a sleeping area. Uh, and at the back, my back bench seats are complete. They came out okay. So now I'll remove uh, all of them, put them in the house so they don't get dirty because I have a lot of sanding left to do and more construction work. 